You're listening to Big Blend Radio's Vacation Station Travel Show. It is part of our Fall Festival series, and we're very excited uh, because on our next segment, we're going to be chatting, our first segment of today, we're going to be focusing on Natchitoches, Louisiana. Natchitoches is, Nancy, is this not one of our most favorite places on the planet that we've traveled well, yeah. to on our Love Your Park tour? We keep and going when back. I, when I hear that music, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. We're going. We're I going. Know. I know. I want to go there right now. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, Natchitoches, oldest city in the state of Louisiana, and it is spelled N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S. So it looks like you're going to say Natchitoches, but it's Natchitoches. And uh, this is the hub of the Cane River National Heritage Area. It's home to the Cane River National Creole, uh, excuse me, Cane River National historical park and it is which is also home to magnolia plantation oakland plantation so much history there and it's also part of louisiana's no man's land and uh this is an area you want to get outside you want to go downtown on front street walk the brick street and you know go shopping and you want to eat you want to eat in natchitoches let me tell you a lot of food going on there all kinds of historic sites shopping you know it's getting to that season to do holiday shopping so Anyway, go to Natchitoches.com. We're very excited to have our friends Arlene Gould and Kelly West from the Natchitoches Convention and Visitors Bureau back on the show. So, Arlene, hi, y'all. How are you doing? <laughs> going to get that <laughs> right. doing Sunday. wonderful. How are y'all doing? <laughs> We're all, We're all doing good. <laughs> good. It's always good to chat with you ladies. Kelly, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, good, good. It's good to have you back on. I know you know, we came to see you this year, and, um, you know, when we came to see you, of course, we've had this COVID virus thing that's really kind of rocked our travel world and all kinds of worlds around the world, right? Um, and then, of course, you know, we've had this wonderful series of tropical storms and hurricanes that have gone through the Gulf Coast region, and um, so we wanted to check in with you, talk about what folks can look forward to for the fall season, because it's here, it's now, and uh, just give everybody an update so everyone knows that Natchitoches, Arlene, right? Natchitoches is alive and kicking. That's that's about right. We're alive and kicking. We're we're just moving forward and still going strong. So awesome. come visit. Yeah, absolutely. Kelly, is it the meat pies or is it all the candy in the candy shop that gives you guys your sustenance to just keep going forward? Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit of both there. <laughs> the savory and the sweet. Yeah, and you got to have that. You got to have that for sure, right? I mean, the the meat pies. That's what you guys are are really known for. That yeah, it's iconic. It's something perfect. Is that something, Kelly, that you and your family will have like for the holidays too? Yeah, you know, meat pies are definitely a holiday tradition for a lot of families here and elsewhere too. Um, and it's one of my son's favorite dishes. So I'm sure we will have some around at some point. Hmm. Now, Arlene, every time we come out to Natchitoches, we, Nancy and I, have just, you know, enjoyed every second of our time with you at your home with your little doggies. We've got to say hi to the little doggies. <laughs> yeah, we um, do. But you're this amazing <laughs> chef. You cook us an awesome dinner. I just want to know, have you ever made meat pies? I have not. I'm going to confess. Uh, I'm probably not good at making the uh, the dough, the pastry dough, or, you know, the mm. and, and I'm not good at frying. I don't. I don't fry a whole lot of stuff in my house. If I fry, I take the fryer outside on the patio and fry it out there like fish, for instance. But I have not made um, homemade meat pies. Oh. I'm, you can I'm give confessing everyone a... and telling the truth. There, <laughs> well, are too you many, know what? there are too many good Creole cooks in this in this community that I always order mine handmade from them and then take them home and prepare them for family and friends. See, awesome. that's, that's a good way of doing stuff. Right yeah, there. exactly. Well, <laughs> you know, and the grits can't let glazions, right? I know, but glazions is, you know, is that is that where the meat pie came from, glazions? Well, Mr. James was one of the uh, the chefs that made the meat pie 
more accessible to everyone. He uh, was a butcher, and, of course, he cut the meats up and ground the meat for some of the ladies that would come to the butcher to the meat you know, counter and buy some of that for for them to bring home. And he started making his own and perfected his own recipe. And back in, what, 1967, he opened up the um, Blasians. And, uh, yep, from there, the restaurant's been open ever since, and people have been loving them ever since. So, yeah, over 50 years out of Lazion's. But Mr. Mr. Chef James was one of the, the ones that made them, like I said, accessible to, to everyone. Mm, good pull. See, this is just something, it's that time of year, you want that comfort food, too, you know. Um, you know, Kelly, we're talking about meat pies and everything. We're talking a little bit, I know Christmas, we'll get to Christmas because it's important. We cannot not talk about Christmas when we talk about Natchitoches. But, Kelly, um, when, you know, the last thing we did with you uh, before we went off to Florida, and <laughs> I know we went through some tropical store about that way, too, but before we did that, um, we went to the dark woods and we went to the hunt. First, we did some treasure hunting for rocks and gems. So you want yes. to tell everybody where we were, because this is the coolest thing. This place, I, I don't care how, you, this, if you're feeling, you know, that you need to capture your inner youth, this is the place. To, this is the fountain of youth. <laughs> it <is>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, what started is dark woods haunted attraction. Um, it is um, a family here who just, um, I've known the husband for many, many years, and he used to be the house to go by at Halloween because he would decorate his yard and go all out. Um, but he and his wife have worked in, you know, video and film for a long time, and so they really take on a very theatrical um, view of Halloween and haunted and things like that, and they have created Darkwoods Haunted Attraction. So it is actually two attractions in one park for the mm. haunted part. Um, they have a haunted carnival. So it is a complete 3D experience, which we went through that mm. um, while y'all were here. Um, yeah, and Nancy cool. almost peed in her pants, right? <laughs> 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 um, it's so fun, and uh, and it is kind of terrifying, but it is yes. a lot of fun. And then they also have a trail, a haunted trail, and it um, they've kind of taken it back to, like, the 1930s, 1940s, and um, the sets are, like, movie prop sets. I mean, they even have some television props used in some of the set pieces. So, um, and everything's there's real. They're not, it's nothing fake. They, they really do go to like antique stores and flea markets and things like that and get real things to, um, to utilize, but they run, uh, they'll actually start running this weekend through the end of October and they will, um, you can go and experience both of those. And mm -hmm. then also then after Halloween's over, they switch to a lighted walk through Christmas Park called Christmas mm, in the Park. So cool. And so um, they have a trail, and you can have, take pictures with Mrs. Claus and all kinds of fun things um, there. But this year they launched a new attraction, and so they've kind of become um, Dark Woods Attraction Park um, mm. because they have a couple other things in, in their plans as well for the next few years. But this year they added Lost Treasure Mining Company, and it is a chance to go and um, you can buy um, some of the mining sluice, the mining um, dirt essentially, and go to the sluice and kind of pan it out for gems, stones, fossils, all kinds of fun things. Um, and, yeah, y'all, I think y'all really did enjoy that. It really oh was my gosh. like being a kid I in a candy store. We we got yes. Nancy, you got a bunch of loot. Nancy was you know you were kind of crazy with that, getting all the rocks and gems. Yeah, you me. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> it's kind of like being in a casino. It's like ooh, look what I scored, you know. But you you you're feeling that you know understand you're learning all the gems and rocks and um you know all the all the you had like arrowheads in there which I thought was cool and that's. We we put all our stuff back in because we don't carry things on the road with us, but we put all Are our sure? treasures back. We were really <laughs> nice. But I have my little arrowhead, my token arrowhead that sits with me at the at the steering wheel of the car, and it, I think it gives us good luck. Don't you think, Nancy, our little yeah. arrowhead? Yes, it, it does. It tells you when you're <laughs> lost. 
which is like I all would, the time. <laughs> I would do that all day long. I just, I want to, yeah, I know. Yeah, let's not talk about going to the Smoky Mountains and going for three hours instead of I west. Don't, seriously? <laughs> oh, no. We just oh, did yes. that yesterday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was great. But it was, it was beautiful. But um, really, I think there's something really cool about that for kids to get excited about geology and then to kind of understand it gets them also to understand about mining history and also to learn, um, like I said, geology, science, and everything like that, earth science, and to even look at about what, what archaeologists go through, too. So I know I've seen, I think this last trip, and I know we talked about it before in our last chat with you ladies, um, but I know, Kelly, you're a mom. I think Natchitoches is becoming very family-centric, even though you're a yes. romantic escape, a place for history lovers, nature lovers. There is a side of Natchitoches that is really becoming a cool family destination. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, with the addition of Lost Treasure Mining Park and then also, you know, the the tours and things that we can do downtown by boat, by carriage, the pedal boat, um, ca- paddle kayak rentals and things like that. And now, you know, we've added putt-putt as well. And mm. so... You know, we do have our our offerings for family fun have certainly increased just in this year, but over the last few years for sure. Wow, wow, that's a I I think it's cool. Now you have putt putt, Nancy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Must come on next time we go, we're putt putting. We got it. That's okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. So 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 I know we're talking holidays, Arlene. Um, Christmas is a huge, huge deal in Natchitoches. Um, what can we expect this year? Because doesn't it kind of kick off in November? Yes, this is our 94th uh, annual Christmas festival season uh, where we're celebrating with all the Christmas lights. We'll have over 300,000 Christmas lights decorating the historic district here on Front Street and over 100 set pieces set along Cane River, along the river bank, uh, reflecting in the water. And, of course, uh, the lights come on the Saturday before Thanksgiving, which this year will be November the 20th. Uh, 21st, I'm sorry. And then uh, they always stay on through January 6th each year. And uh, fireworks every Saturday. So uh, this year, you know, with COVID, you know, everybody's being extra cautious with social distancing. But Christmas is not canceled. We are proceeding Mm -hmm. with our lights and our fireworks. And uh, we welcome everyone to come by and visit during the holiday season. And even like you're saying, all this is the festivities continue. We can still social distance and be smart how we how we travel and attend events, whether it's you know local travel like go go Natchitoches, right? Is that that's still going on, Kelly? For everybody yes. to know, like go Natchitoches. Yes. Mm-hmm. You okay. can um in, in get a lot of that information through our website. We have a little um, widget on the front page that says help you plan your trip. Um, or you can download a Go Natchitoches app um, from your app store, and that will help guide you along the way as well. Okay. So the other thing, okay, so Go Natchitoches, everyone, with that, um, all these things are happening, still going. One of the things is the car show, and I remember doing a show with you ladies, uh, I, mean, I think a year or two years ago, talking about the car show, and that is still on. That's October 2nd, I believe, right, the car show. Yes, that's coming up next week. Uh, we are proceeding with our outdoor uh, 14th annual uh, Natchitoches Car Show, and we're excited about that. Mm. Um, yeah, a lot of cars. We had, last year we had, I believe, 380 cars, or right at around 400 cars. We don't anticipate that many this year, uh, mm. but we probably, year, right now, I think we have about 150 cars registered. So we'll still have a, a pretty good showing uh, mm. of uh, registered cars. I believe it's 1983 and older. Or, um, so, so yep, that, that event is still scheduled, um, and we're excited about that at, at, um, for next weekend, mm. the other October 2nd. Too- Third. Yeah. Okay. Second. Okay. Yeah. It's that weekend. <laughs> Everyone, actually, yeah. go to Natchitoches.com, and that's the thing. Things are always changing. This year, it's like, you know, you can plan on something. Always check the website. 
make a phone call because anything could change. So that's just the rule of thumb, I think, for, for travel, and it should always be. Um, the other thing, too, history. This is your, your city is history. You are living history. Just even walking in the downtown on the brick, seeing the brick you know, road on Front Street and the beautiful Cane River Lake, it is just iconic. It's like everyone, you just got to go to Natchitoches to see what we're talking about. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um, but the thing is, the history is so rich. Um, what, how we first discovered your area was, uh, you know, obviously our Love Your Parks tour. We're traveling and documenting parks, and especially national parks has always been a big deal, too. And Cane River Creole National Historical Park is uh, actually one of our newer parks in the park system. I think it's just over 20 years old. And coming up on its anniversary, I believe its anniversary is November 20th. I could be wrong, 19th or 20th. Um, but it is in November, its, its anniversary of being established. And um, this park is uh, two plantations, Magnolia and Oakland Plantation, and also between them is Melrose Plantation. And the history, um, you know, when you hear about plantations, um, this is going to surprise you because you've got all kinds of cultures and people, including women, running the plantations. Uh, so it's a very interesting experience that I encourage everyone to go and do. Um, but those parks are open, right? Kelly, you were saying uh, before we started recording this that um, Magnolia yes. and o Oakland Plantation, but Oakland Melrose will Magno open later. Yeah. Yes. Oakland um, and Magnolia Complex are now back open. Um, they're still not fully open to obviously pre-COVID, but they are um, open and you can tour them um, and, and experience the stories there. And uh, Melrose is still not open quite yet, um, but they are because they're still cleaning up after the storm, of course. But they are preparing for an event coming up. Um, they are doing their annual Melrose Arts and Crafts Festival, which is usually mm. in um, April of each year and obviously was postponed and they've decided to go ahead because it's outdoors and we can so they can socially distance and things like that. So they will be doing that. Um, October 10th and 11th. Okay, so everyone know about that. And Melrose Plantation is a must visit. It's also, all of this is part of the Cane River National Heritage Area, so these are places to visit too. Um, Arlene, uh, the Louisiana Sports Museum is and Hall of Fame is right next to your office in downtown, right on Front Street. Got to go check it out, but also has a state history museum. So if you want to learn about the history of, of the area, uh, this is a place to go, but also for sports. And you said, you know, normally in the summer, I think it's always near like the July 4th weekend around there, uh, they do the um, inductees for the Hall of Fame. But is, Arlene, that's going to be uh, happening later this year? It is. It's going to be happening in December, uh, midweek. Um, I want to say the first week in December. I don't have a calendar in front of me. But, yes, the inductees that were announced last year would have been inducted the last week of June. Uh, it was postponed, obviously, due to the COVID. So we are going to honor those inductees in December. Um, and December I'm looking 15th, forward to that. 16th, yeah, December 15th, 16th, and 17th. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah, so that will be exciting. We look forward to that event. It does honor, you know, the, the greats, the, the sports greats, the you know, the athletes and the coaches. And so uh, that's going to be yeah. happening December. And um, and they just are about to announce the, the new inductees for next year. So I guess we'll try to get back on track and induct those individuals in June of 2021. I like the Sports Hall of Fame, you know. It's mm -hmm. like it, they had, I mean, even cars are part of that. I mean, that had that fun. Remember that car, Nancy, that we saw? That funky yeah. little cool red car. But like you, also, car. you also like firemen. I know why you like the sports. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's a thing about, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was red. It was a red Thunderbird. So I have mm -hmm. to, I, I, I hear you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's things about that but i mean the downtown is so cool and i would think like shopping has got to be part of all of this you know are the shops open for everybody because this is the thing about neck the, the shops we went into you're not going to find this i mean you're not going to see like okra art like dried okra painted and um there's all kinds of i mean there's just things you're not going to find anywhere else i don't think 
Well, yes, I, you know, I, hate to, I always have to bring up the oldest general store in the state of Louisiana because everyone loves to go shop there, even if it's just eye shopping. You're, you know, you're looking at all these old, um, you know, uh, products from the past as well as the most modern products from, from, you know, on the shelves today. But they have a little bit of everything at the old hardware store, Kathy Frederick's. So, mm. yep, since 1863, the oldest, um, you know, continuous operating store in the state of Louisiana. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like a shopper's delight there. But we do have many unique uh, shops along the, his, you know, on Front Street in the historic district, um, just a variety of, of, of shops. And it is, it's it's fun to just, you know, stroll up mm. and down and go shopping all day. <laughs> <laughs> and eat right. candy and meat pies. And eat candy mm-hmm. and meat pies and get a and, cup of coffee and, at one of the coffee shops and just yeah. drink. And listen, and go to Cane River Brewery. The brewery's got fabulous beer. An and they do, <laughs> they do seasonal beer. I know, because I taste it. <laughs> 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 and this, this is the other thing, you know, for families, you know, uh, the Cane River Queen and just, I, there's listen, the other thing is you guys have a lot of um, bed and breakfast, uh, regular hotels, you know, like Holiday and Best Western. Got to give a shout out to our friends at, over at Sharpco Hotels. Um, it, there's something for everyone. And there's B&Bs if you want that romantic getaway. There's vacation rentals. Um, we've done a little bit of all of it, I think, in, in Natchitoches. But it is a, the paddle, the, go on that paddle boat, the Cane River Queen, and just ride down the river. That's something we all need is to just get some fresh air. It is going on a boat ride is one of the most calming experiences. They have wine on the boat. They have beer on the boat. They have soda if that's what you want. And you'll see like birds and people out there, all their homes, and people wave to you. I think that's one of the magical experiences. And then you get to see downtown Natchitoches from the boat. And it's like this whole other perspective. And the bridges mm-hmm. and all the wrought iron and it's magical. I want to go on the boat ride. I know Arlene, you want to go. I know you do. Well, it kind of forces you to slow down. You know how everybody nowadays everything's just kind of in a hurry and I got to get to the next thing and do this. But when you step on the boat and you know the paddle wheel starts rolling, you're just kind of like, okay, you know, this mm-hmm. is this is cool, you know, and you just, and, and you just automatically kick back and relax. And Kelly, you're going to kayak next to the boat. Right, because you always yes, talk about kayaking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the deal. Next time we come to Natchitoches, Nancy, putt putt. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm bad. Putt putt. <laughs> I have not played putt putt in years, like years. I, that would be funny. But um, putt putt, and then Kelly, we want to go mm-hmm. kayaking with you. Okay. Cool. Are you sure? Like, are you? Yeah. Are, you're not. Oh, okay. yeah, Kelly's up for kayaking anytime. Anytime, now, any day. <laughs> cool. Now, Arlene, what about you? Oh, I'm not much of a kayaker. I'm not, I mean, I like watch the water. The, she'll watch us from the boat. I know. She's going to uh, sit I'm, there and go, I've yeah. got wine and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like being on the water, but I, I'm um, not kayaking right now. I mm. just, you know. I'd rather no, get on no. the on the on the Creole Queen and just kind of kick back, you know. <laughs> no worries, yeah. no worries. That's okay. Leave That's it in okay. the captain's but, hands. Okay, so when when you're in the boat, you got to hand us some wine. That's all. Right, just go. Okay, yeah, ladies, I can do that. Go. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's He'll lower it down. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, you know what, ladies? It is. I'm so glad you could join us on the show. I know it was real fast notice, and. Um, we're just really glad that you're all there and, you know, everyone can still go to Natchitoches and uh, support Natchitoches, support independent small businesses if you can uh, this holiday season. And as we travel, keep our distance, but have a good time. And you really can. We had to do social distancing everywhere we're mm-hmm. going this year. And Nancy and I have been, I can't even count how many states we've been through and how many towns and places. And we're still standing and, and being really careful. And um, you can do it. Um But if you want to, you know, and if you can, you can. Everyone's in a different predicament and situation, I should say. So um, if you can get out there, Natchitoches is just one of those special, special places. So thank you, ladies, for joining us. Well, thank you for having us again. We always enjoy our visits with you and uh, Lisa and Nancy, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again real soon. Oh, and everyone, before before we forget, 
When you go to Natchitoches, one of the coolest things to do is follow the film trail. The Steel Magnolias film trail, and there's the Natchitoches film trail. If you go to Natchitoches.com, you'll get to download the map. There's postcards. There's all kinds of cool things because Steel Magnolias was filmed there as are a number of films. So you got to do the film trail. That's like, that's something everyone can do in social distance, right? I mean, that's like Absolutely. an easy thing. Yeah. 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 That's a cool thing. So everyone, Natchitoches.com, that's Natch, N-A-T-C-H, Itoches is I-T-O-C-H-E-S.com. <laughs> so thanks, everyone. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, ladies. We'll keep up with you. And who knows, we may see you on our way back west whenever that happens. <laughs> that would be great. That would be wonderful. Cool. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 